Hello everyone, I am the host of the YouTube channel Wang Yiba Inc. Sub. Nice to meet you again. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the hottest news of the day. And here's today's news. In 2022, Wang Yibo's Three Shadows became a hit, and I finally saw that he has today. I remember a director said that he and Tony Leung feel very similar, really. Part of acting is something that God will give you. Wang Yibo's face has always been my favorite. He has a unique temperament, cold, abstinence, liveliness, innocence, and that subwoofer are also advantages. I'm not good at complimenting people. I just think that Wang Yibo's eyes are playful, spiritual, and he works hard enough. Strong plasticity, natural and smooth emotional expression, very comfortable to look at, even if he is silent, just sitting in a quiet corner alone. The temperament emanating from the body has a sense of story. A back, a drooping eye, including any expression of emotion, there will always be a desire to explore. Since his debut, Wayne Nebo has taken over the roles of urban themes and ancient fantasy themes. But still a newcomer to the film industry. However, his entry into the film industry is high. All three movies are big productions. The King of the Sky plays Radar. Peacekeeping and Riot Squad plays Yang Zhen, and No Name plays Yumi. King of the Sky has been included in the first batch of key cultural creation projects and will receive key attention. The support and follow, up in the later period will also make this film shine. Wang Yibo can get a role in a key supported film, can cooperate with senior and powerful actors to demonstrate modern Air Force. It is a success in itself. The name Kukai is not for nothing. Although there is no official announcement for King of the Sky. CCTV has released a promotional video. Wayne Nebo is wearing a flight uniform and has the youth of a young man. There's also the masculinity of a man, and has not at all peaceful in playing the role. In addition, Wayne Nebo's spiritual connotation is also suitable. He has passion and dares to fight, and it is very suitable for radar. As the saying goes, what I show is always better than what I show. In our eyes, Wayne Nebo is a boy who is keen on sports. He skates on skateboards. Hip, hop dance is great and he likes adventurous motorcycles. To describe him as a hot, blooded man, I think it is very suitable. What Peacekeeping and Riot Squad shows us is a group of people who are full of blood and passion. Yang Zhen, played by Wang Nebo, wears a police uniform to resist long guns and is haunted by bullets. Just watching the preview has many shocking and passionate scenes. Peacekeeping and Riot Squad tells the story of a mission overseas. With the theme of peacekeeping, from the perspective of subject matter, it can arouse the patriotic feelings of the audience and has the foundation of explosive models. It is worth mentioning that the production team of this film, the film's producer is Liu Wikiong, who has directed Founding an Army and Captain of China. It is believed that Peacekeeping and Riot Squad will become another blockbuster film with a double harvest of word, of, mouth box office. The film Nameless directed and written by Chang Er, it is a film that pays tribute to the unknown underground workers. When the film was promoted, it caused a wave of heated discussions. Liang Kavai's spy war dramas are palace, level, with both appearance and strength. Judging from the propaganda posters, Wang Nebo and Tony Leung stand together, and the high-value combination is too seductive. The role in the play is a big challenge for Wang Nebo, both good and evil. This villain role satisfies everyone's curiosity. Wang Yibo's original lines with a Shanghai accent highlight his humorous temperament. Wang Yibo went from a singer to an actor and then to the film industry. The drama throws his face. He portrays different roles in different film and television works. It can bring a different feeling every time, and can attract fans and audiences by virtue of the characters. These three films of Wang Yibo can let us witness his growth. Are you looking forward to Wang Yibo's movies? I am looking forward.